Okay, today we'll be showing you how to easily reformat your PC. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna prepare at least a 16 GB pen drive and then go to Google, just type in Windows Media Creation Tool and then go to download Windows 10 image and then uh, instead of, of update now, go to download tool and then you will download the tool okay open it up while waiting for the software to launch prepare your empty pen drive okay into your PC right after that come back here okay they will show you this just press accept after that, create installation media, press next. You can either use recommended or untick. Choose x64 or x86. We'll go for x64. So you can either do direct flash your pen drive or ISO. So for easier, you can go for USB flash drive, press next. Choose your current USB that you want to flash. Press next and wait for it to finish. Okay, once it's finished, you get this one. Just press finish and then hold on, let it clean up the setup. Okay, once it's off, you can remove your pen drive and reformat your PC. So we will go to the next step. Okay, once you are done with your pen drive, insert onto any USB 3.0 port if you have it. And then start your PC. Once started your PC, try to hit the delete F2, spam it so you can get into the BIOS screen. Once in your BIOS screen, locate your boot. Okay, go to boot and then try to boot into the UEFI. Okay, UEFI on the pen drive. Look for your pen drive name. It will say UEFI. Press enter, F10, enter to save and exit and then wait for the screen to load. Once you are in this screen, choose your time currency language to install. So for this one, I will stay in the US and then press next. Right after that, press install now. And wait for the next screen to pop up if you have your product key you can type in your product key else you can go to i don't have a product key and choose which uh, version of the windows 10 you want to e install i'll go for windows 10 pro accept the license press next custom installation and then you will see multiple drive if you are reformatting an existing system okay the first thing you're gonna do is delete make sure you already back up all your data to prevent any losses so once you have deleted and I have a drive zero unallocated space I'll just press next if you have another hard disk I suggest you to press new press apply and press ok because once you press next if you have another hard disk, it might throw your system and your MSR reserve into the hard disk. So anything happens to your hard disk, it will corrupt your whole system. So I suggest pressing the new button and you get all the system MSR into the same disk. So go to primary, press next and wait for the installation to finish. Once the PC restarted, you can remove your pen drive. So to avoid your PC from rebooting into this but it's okay if uh, your PC reboots into the Windows installation then you can proceed so now we will proceed with the Windows installation next up you should be seeing the getting devices ready just wait for a moment until the next setup instruction next se just select your region I'll be using the US region Press enter, skip, if you want to add a second keyboard you can. Normally, at this let's connect you to a network, I will 
WordPress, I don't have internet, continue with limited setup. So type in your username and then password. If you want to skip, just press enter, then some privacy settings. Let's accept this, accept and wait for it to boot and you're good to go. So we are almost there, waiting it to finish. And there you go. You just reformatted your PC. So just connect up your internet or Wi-Fi to get all your uh, essential drivers inside. Okay. Most importantly, your graphics card driver, your chipset driver. So look for someone who is quite professional. They will teach you how to get your drivers.